So you've decided you want to build your Christmas light display, synchronize the music, or just random patterns for your Christmas lights. You figured out how many channels you want to control. You got all your tools and supplies together. You got all your outlet boxes wired up the way you need to be. You got your outlet boxes wired up to your relays. Now you would think the next step would be to wire the relays to your Arduino board. And that's not the case. Your next step, what you want to do is figure out how you're going to house all these things. You need some sort of enclosure that's going to keep them out of the weather, out of the rain, out of the elements, the snow, so on. Now I've opted to do this box right here out of plywood. And what I'm going to do is the next couple of steps, I'm going to show you not exactly how I did it, but some tips and tricks on what to do and, you know, how I did it somewhat i'm not going to get into the measuring and everything i'm going to get into some of the measuring of the board here because that's pretty important but as far as the whole build process my buddy helped me build it in his shop here took an evening a couple hours to get it done and uh let's get to it so here's the parts of the box that my buddy and i built in his shop i really appreciate the help he gave me with this um this is the box it's upside down this is the bottom this spot right here is where the extension cords are going to come out of. I'm going to put a plastic rubber flap right here to kind of keep the elements and bugs and stuff out of it. This hole right here is where the main power feed is going to come into. The box is 24 by 24 by 16, I think it is. Maybe a little bit deeper. Oh, I forgot. Anyways, got stops here. This is what it's going to do is the board that holds all the outlet boxes is going to come in here and stop on this. And then I'm going to screw it in from the sides. And it should hold it in place just fine. Got a light coat of primer on it right now. Got all the corners. Got them all caulked up before I primed it. Got a good exterior primer put on it. That's going to be the door. It's going to have a catch on it knob hinges so on here's the panel the panel is going to hold six four gang outlet boxes and one three gang this section right here on, on the back side of it is going to hold the arduino and right here in the front i'm going to have a lcd screen so i can know what's going on in the show that's all programmed in with the arduino so I'm going to give it a couple coats of exterior, good exterior paint. And let's just see what it looks like here in just a minute. So after about two or three coats of this Valspar Duramex semi-gloss, it's a gray. Caught it a really good deal. This is like a $30, $40 gallon of paint. If you catch the mist tints at Lowe's, you can get it from $9 a gallon. And... Uh, Sometimes you can get them to change the color just a little bit, but this gray right here may not show up right quite well, but it's like a light gray, medium gray, I guess you'd say. It's got about two or three coats all the way around on it. Painted, let it dry, painted, let it dry, so on and so forth. There's the door. And there's the inside panel. Overall, I think it turned out pretty well. I'll get it assembled here in just a little bit and show you what it looks like. Now that all the paint's dry on it, I got some of the hardware put on the box now. Go over here to the side. I have a piano hinge that runs the entire length of the side here. That gives the door some support. Now this thickness of this door is a half inch. I got just a inexpensive cabinet knob from Lowe's, about a dollar and a half maybe. Now the screws that come with it, they're mainly made for like three quarter inch uh, cabinet depth. So what I had to do is I got some washers here and I stacked them behind the screw head and that way the knob here was flush against the door okay so then i wanted to catch something to hold the door shut i got two of these 
And what those are is magnetic catches. It has two magnets in it. And they correspond to a plate right here and right here. And I got them about six, eight inches spaced out. It holds it pretty well. Not going to go anywhere. The wind's not going to blow it open. On the inside here, this is the panel that's going to hold all the, the uh, outlet boxes. Now, once you get all the outlet boxes in, you're not going to be able to grab hold of it and pull it in and out to adjust anything or fix anything or work on it, so on. So what I did is I got some of these drawer pulls. These are a three-inch spacing. Between here and here is three inches. Just measure out three inches, drill your hole, put your screws through it, and it catches on the inside. It's threaded on the inside. Now, when I got everything in there, I can just take hold of it and grab it and get to the inside of my box. Or, I can work on the back of the box, or back of the panel, I should say. And you can see right there, just the screws that I got, they go into the back side of the handle, holds it on. Alright, now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the panel itself. Okay, here's the panel that's taken out of the box. Now, all the way around it, I have about two inch gap between the side and where the box is going to come. That gives me room for the uh, face plate that's going to go all the way around it. And in between them, it's about an inch, inch and a quarter or so in between them. And right here is about three inches. Now, you can adjust this however you want to, but just make sure you leave enough room for the back of the box, those little uh, tabs that come up and grab hold of it. Make sure you leave enough room for those. Make sure you leave enough room for your face plate. Your face plate is going to cover up any any irregularities like there's a couple of places here it's gonna it's not gonna show up because that face plate's gonna cover everything up just make sure you plan it out draw it out set your boxes on there you know trace around them take your time with it take your time with it it's gonna end up pretty well i think this turned out quite well now another thing i did here recently this hole right here took a spade bit or a drill bit and just drilled this out it's about uh I'm going to say about a half inch, I think. It's maybe five inch, something like that. What that's going to do is, when I have my Arduino on the back side of this panel here, I'm going to have the cable that programs it. It's going to come out and run for this hole right here, and it's going to sit right here in the front of the box. Now, what that's going to allow me to do is, I, if I need to change the program, all i got to do is bring my laptop up, pull the cord out, hook up to it, and update the Arduino. That way, I don't have to take this whole panel out just to do one little simple change. Okay, so here's a little bit uh, better look at the stop that's in the back of the box, or the middle of the box, I should say. What this does is, when you screw the panel in, it's going to hold it flush, it's not going to fall backwards, and gives us some support so while you screw it in. It's about three quarters of an inch wide and about an inch deep. Now, you, this is just a scrap piece that I had from making the uh, front panel. front panel is about three quarters of an inch. That's just a piece of scrap we had left there. It turned out pretty good. Um, you can get one by one lumber already cut to the one inch by one inch square, and I would suggest probably doing it that way. Um, the three quarter inch you can drill into it or screw into it to secure your panel. The uh, one by one is going to give you just a little bit more area of room for your screw to go in. This panel right there is going to actually screw in from the sides. You can see I have the screw holes already pre-drilled out. And right here, right next to I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, that's the screws that hold that stop in place. So you got to have some way to attach that panel so it doesn't fall forward or backwards. Now there's another way you can do it. They're called T-nuts. What you do is you will drill into this, and this is basically a threaded nut that has teeth on it. And you'll hammer it in there once you drill the hole. And then you take a machine screw, and the machine screw will go for the front of the panel and screw into the threads. Now, if it's if you're not very good at woodworking and measuring and all that good stuff, I wouldn't suggest it. Just do the way like we got here. We're just going to screw it in from the sides, and it's going to catch the side of the panel here. Overall, I think this box turned out really well. I appreciate my buddy helping me out on this, and... Uh, it turned out quite well. I'm, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. The, the little knobs and catches and handles and stuff, it, the little touches, you know, 
you're going to spend, you know, probably about 15, 10 to 15 dollars on some, you know, on those hardware, maybe not even that much. You catch a deal on it. You don't have to go that fancy. But the, those little small touches, they, they help out in the long run, especially if you have to pull that panel out. That would make a big deal with those handles. You don't have to do two handles. I just bought two of them because I bought two of them. But, you know, a good you know, knob on the outside and some way to attach it, the door. You know, make it functional. It ain't got to be super pretty. Just make it functional. This one's way better looking and way more functional than the one I built last year. It was very crudely built. It wasn't painted. It wasn't caulked. It was. It probably wasn't even squared up. You know, it was covered up by a tarp to keep the weather out of it. You know, I'm glad I took the time. Me and my buddy took our time and built this one a whole lot better than last year's. And I appreciate his help for that too. Now the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I attach the Arduino that's going to go on the back of that board to all the relay boxes and, and uh, outlet boxes. If you got any questions or comments, concerns, so on, leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back with you with them as soon as I can. Um, this is my second one building these boxes. I'm probably going to build a third here this year once I get my lights put up. But anyways, I appreciate y'all watching and we'll see you next time.